If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And we have one of the best content videos so far of the year. One of the best morning videos in terms of news, guys. We have a bunch of stuff to go over, a bunch of exciting information to get across to you guys. So a ton of free players, a ton of free stuff as well as some cool reveals now before we get into the video and go through everything make sure to head on down below give this video a big thumbs up turn that noti bell come join the channel boys and of course today's shout out goes out to cooper jens for the poodle squad shout out shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad thanks so much for showing support each and every day but yeah if you guys want to be shout out on the poodle squad like the video comment down below poodle squad turn that noti bell and of course guys if you need coins head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle at checkout we have a lot to go over, a lot of stuff to explain, so let's head on over to it. Okay, so first we have the updates for today. We have a server maintenance slash title update coming today, which the title update is already actually. The notes are live, so you can go ahead and see everything for that. Content could be delayed, which is um, the LTDs are referring to, which of course, that's going to happen, right? Solo battles gated offline till maintenance complete. That's pretty obvious. They usually do that. Look for in-game messaging when content is available. So that means don't, they're pretty much saying don't open packs until you see that it says Darren Waller's impacks because they don't, they're tired of granting make rights, so... Their way of fixing that is pretty much saying they're not liable until you see it in game. Uh, weekend league incorrect win requirements. So it said 17 wins, but they did change back to 18 wins. But for the first week, if you did place in any of those incorrect timing, uh, like the values, you'll still get your rewards for that. Status update: solo battles weekend league rewards delayed once again. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why. Team builder power ups releasing later today, 9 2, which is September 2nd. So that's pretty cool as well. So guys, we have the LTD, Devin White was the second one. You guys should have seen Waller's stats already. It'll be in my later video as well as I went over it. I mean, everyone went over it yesterday on Twitter stuff, so you should have seen most of that stuff and videos. But Devin White, 91 overall, 89 speed, 89 excel, 79 strength, 91 tackle, 89 player rec, 85 blocks, 90 hit power, 81 zone. If linebackers weren't horrible, oh, this card's insane. I'll probably have many ways. I do like linebackers a little bit more this year than last year. But that block shed, hit power, but he'll get 90 plus speed, 90 plus excel, with good zone, with good play rec, decent height. This card's insane. This card's an absolute animal. I really do love this card. It's going to be a beast. We, we, we know it's going to be a beast, right? That's just, this card's going to be crazy. I definitely recommend picking him up. You can get him for an affordable price. This guy's Darren Waller. I'll briefly go over him again for all you guys who didn't know about him. This is going to be the meta tight end. They're probably the best offensive player in the game. Powered up, guys. This card can get 89 speed, right? He'll get above 90 medium route running and short running and spec catch and catching traffic and 91 catching with the right strategy card so it's gonna be crazy this card's gonna be absolutely insane pretty much take kyle pitts make him faster and give him better route running and way better catching it's like it's like kyle pitts on steroids this darren waller card any six foot six just like uh pitts i think pitts six foot six so darren waller is gonna be an absolute meta card you're gonna need him on your team i imagine he's gonna go for like 600 to 700k he's gonna be expensive it really depends on how they do ltd pull rates this year there's like last year certain ltds were cheaper they'd always get down to three four hundred k um if it's like anything like older years he'll be at least 700k so it remains to be seen, but he should be pretty expensive nonetheless. Guys, what I'm super excited to talk about is the Madden Championship Series, guys. Just like last year with the Durham vs. The World and stuff, if you go ahead and watch the Madden Championship Series, you will be getting tokens, which you can use for free players. And guys, you're going to be excited about the play. I'm telling you that. This MCS stuff is pretty simple. Starting Tuesday, they will be kicking off the MCS season, with which they call Ultimate Kickoff. Not related to the Ultimate Kickoff promo. That'll be Tuesday. If you watch Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll get a total of about four tokens, which gets you the free player, which I'll go over in a second. A few questions I know you're going to ask. How long do you have to stay in? They didn't say specifically last year was like an hour. They will probably address it um, at some point this week. Let you know now, though, guys. All you got to do, honestly, if you're out, you put it on your phone, you put it in your pocket, you just let it run. If you're home or if you have like your, your family home or a friend or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, text them. Let them know, just go on your computer and open the Twitch. You can just literally leave it in a back tab on mute and you can run the whole stream just to be safe. There will be glitches, there will be issues. Just know they will fix it for you at some point. Uh, here we go. We got 89 overall MCS Tyreek Hill as our free player, which you can get as of next week, guys. Now, a few questions to be uh, answered. He cannot be powered up, which does mean don't spend a ton on his power up. It also means that he's going to be a one and done card for the time being, which is fine because he's better than the other Tyreek Kill. So you can rock with him for now. So that mean, that makes me wonder. So my plan initially was to power up Tyreek Hill as my second wide receiver, but now I may just rock with this one for the time being. I didn't plan to put abilities on him anyways. I may just rock with this one for the time being for free. And then later in the year when this one's like, you know, in like a month or two when this one's phased out, I don't need it anymore. I'll go ahead and get the other Tyreek. When the next Tyreek Hill gets an upgrade, the older one, right? The elite. When that gets an upgrade, then I'll go ahead and power him up and do that. So that means I may use my power pass, maybe Aaron Donald or someone else. But that's just one. So that's Tyreek Hill. I will show you the stats in a second. And then we get a 97 overall Madden Bullet Champion. The way you get that is, 
by collect there's gonna be four total players you're gonna be tyree kill and as the year goes on there's gonna be you know three more players for all the big events so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get all four of those players and collect them once you do that you can go over and complete the 97 overall madden bowl champion which you won't get to probably like february ish if i had to guess if i remember correctly so that player isn't set in stone last year it was derwin james this year it's going to be a random player that's decided by the madden bowl champion which is super cool so let's just say right um joke wins the madden bowl champion uh the madden bowl championship and everything he wins it all or whatever the final event however it works and his favorite player from his run was saquon barkley he can go ahead and make a 97 overall saquon barkley now the way it works it's kind of like golden ticket-esque is what rg was hinting at that they could change the buckets and archetypes and stuff so this could be a godlike player guys he can make a 97 overall uh saquon barkley let's say he wants to make an rg3 which i imagine has to be based off like your team maybe or maybe you just pick anyone that'd be cool it, it could be a really cool concept it could be golden ticket-esque so make sure you guys do get your players make sure you are watching because you're going to want that player when it comes out and they did confirm that like last year the players weren't that great right like Duran was the Duran was the only good one they did say they want to make sure that every card they drop is relevant so that probably means 89 overall tyree kill the next one might be a 90 next one might be a 92 and they'll make sure that all these players are meta cards for their time so that's pretty cool so they will all be usable so make sure you are going ahead and taking advantage of this um this is you see right here exchange three mcs tokens for an 89 overall mcs edition tyree kill so that's pretty cool as well that's going to be the set right there and then over here the 97 overall player will be designed by the madden bowl champion this is awesome guys i really like that they're doing this this is always fun i'm glad they did release this and let us know about this because tyree kill is going to be that's a good card last year they dropped like keen allen and ramsey and stuff the best one was ramsey and he borderline wasn't even that usable really anymore by the time we got him uh tyree kill on the other hand we'll have like i said i'll show you his stats now 91 speed that's cool card art first off 91 speed 86 jumping so all off the rip he's faster than the base elite one powered up which is a 90 speed so he'll compete with jamar chase but he gets what's the beauty of him is that all of his catch will be above 80 and his deep route running is above 90 so he'll get the deep route running threshold and speed above 91 he'll get 91 speed plus strategy cards so he's gonna be like a 92 93 94 speed potentially on a strategy card team with all the right stuff not to mention the fact that he's free so that's gonna be crazy as your one two or third or even fourth wide receiver you can have him for a while he's gonna be really good to use good juke good cod you know change of direction gonna be a good card i really like this card again definitely make sure you guys go ahead and watch you don't want to be the guy that forgets to watch you don't get your free tyra kill that's just a big value tyra kill goes for over 200k plus his power up goes to like 35k plus the training to power him up you're looking at almost a 260 to 300k card definitely go ahead and make sure you do get this done so i want to quickly throw in here guys there was a title update today there's not anything too crazy in terms of wanting to read the whole thing and make a separate video but i'll go over the key things that matter to me uh first off gameplay updates guys they did adjust a few things they adjust the rpo glitch if you guys didn't see thrones video where you could just scramble out with it they adjust the dn being unblocked too frequently that happened a lot it was the dumbest thing ever i'd be playing and like the dn would just tap my center and then just run in it was the stupidest thing happened all online a lot um they fixed the issue they fixed the issue with the running back going out of the game for like after half after being fatigued for the whole game and in online games that's huge uh, another important thing they fixed franchise a lot of the issues that were causing crashing that's still not the draft and stuff update but again they're fixing the issues first so that's pretty cool and then um apparently if i read this correctly which is what they just went over they did address the issue with the xbox series x crashing a lot and turning off they said they think this should fix it it's not guaranteed that it will fix it but they think it could have done it and if not they'll keep monitoring it which is exciting because that means they did address it it has been brought to light and hopefully they can fix because i do believe it is a madden issue because it was a 2k madden are the only games it really happens on so i do believe it's not that it's their fault i think it's something wrong with the console like the console software bugging out in some uh, instances and certain next gen games aren't optimized to like go against that so i think they're going to address that so that sounds pretty good as well but that was the key stuff from here guys and to wrap it up we have some campus hero reveals i'm gonna go through these pretty fast so of course the video is getting long enough for you guys already so a lot of stuff to go over of course just a pause and go through the stats we got vince young highlights to, uh, here is that he's pretty much daniel jones 2.0 except he's improvised which kind of sucks but he gets the speed throw power literally daniel jones 2.0 uh marcus spears power rusher decent low 80 speed good power move good block shed powered up and chemmed up with strategy cards could be pretty good javon curse as per usual pretty fast 85 speed 89 excel um honestly i think the monta sweats better for the most part because he gets the 90 finesse move and he gets faster speed off the rip aj hawk middle linebacker 86 speed 87 excel modest good hit power not enough zone good block shed though not a bad card carl banks for the giants giants team seems to be getting better and better uh pretty fast gonna be a decent uh linebacker good block shake good power i'm gonna be a kind of dual purpose linebacker nothing too crazy though mike pouncey gonna be a really good center powered up and chemmed up he will get uh, he'll be a really good run blocker really good pass uh blocker as well mel renfro classic comes back probably has some good hit power which you can't see on here 
87 speed not the greatest though i mean i wish it was faster kind of reminds me of one of those um raw raw woodson i think raw woodson cards but yeah he's pretty good philip buchanan 89 speed 89 excel not bad he kind of looks tall from his picture but that could be very deceiving um low zone decent card pretty good speed on sure roll though is actually pretty good because he gets the 90 speed and uh decently high man if you can get his man to a 90 he's pretty good i wouldn't say he's crazy good but he's not bad joey galloway is actually probably one of the better ones revealed he has a 91 speed powered up which means he gets a 92 speed which makes him the fastest wide receiver pretty much in the game he'll pretty much be uh jamar chase except he can get probably 90 deep route running if not if he cannot then you're probably better off with the mcs tyree kill because he does get the 90 deep route running base but yeah car's pretty good reggie nelson strong safety for the bengals great zone decent speed similar to a buddha baker s card but guys, about it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you need coins, pick up a bunch of these campus heroes, head over to Mutt Reserve, and use code Poodle at checkout. I may not make a video on this tomorrow because I will be at Zerk's house. I'm flying down to his house tomorrow morning. So I'll probably be at his house. He'll probably make a video on it, but I probably won't have the means to do so. But yeah, hopefully I'll keep you guys updated throughout Twitter, and I do have some videos ready for you guys to go. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.